Hello, welcome to the next installment of Asset Optimization Consultants vlog series on risk-based inspection. My name is Viva Zaman and I'm a Senior Corrosion Specialist here at Asset Optimization. This presentation will focus on damage mechanism reviews, otherwise known as corrosion studies. I've been performing corrosion studies for more than 15 years for a wide range of assets and processing facilities. These include refineries, petrochemical and chemical plants, pipelines, and offshore platforms. This presentation will focus on damage mechanism reviews or DMRs. The objectives of the presentation are to provide information on what is the DMR, how is it performed, what can you gain from a DMR, and how does the DMR fit into the RBI process. A DMR is a detailed and systematic review of each pressure equipment and or piping circuit component. It's typically performed at a PFD level and is performed to identify the expected corrosion rate, damage mechanisms, potentials for damage to occur, and the type of damage that's expected. The DMR takes into consideration a wide variety of information. This includes the materials of construction, design data, process information, including normal operating conditions and non-standard operations such as unit shutdowns and cyclic service, along with corrosive species, results of sampling and monitoring, his, uh, historical inspections, any corrosion models that are available, and industry standards. All of this information is analyzed by an experienced and trained corrosion specialist in order to determine the expected corrosion rates, potential damage mechanisms, the damage potentials, and the type of damage that's expected. Mitigation recommendations may also be made at this time. So how does the DMR fit into the RBI process? Well, here's the schematic of the RBI process from API 580. The DMR outputs are fed directly into the probability calculation to determine the probability of failure. The probability is then combined with the consequence to determine the overall risk of the asset or component being analyzed. The risk ranking influences the inspection plan by helping to drive the frequency of inspection, the extent of inspection, and the reassessment interval. The DMR has a direct influence on the inspection plan by providing information regarding the inspection method that should be used based on the type of damage that's expected. For example, general corrosion, pitting, cracking, etc. In addition, it provides information on where to inspect based on susceptible locations for damage. Finally, mitigation recommendations may be made during the DMR process in order to manage or reduce the risk. In summary, DMRs are essential elements to RBI programs since they provide key information required to calculate equipment risk and to formulate inspection plans. They help optimize inspection resources and increase safety by ensuring inspections look for expected damage using the right inspection techniques. They also provide better planning for replacements and assessing fitness for service requirements. Finally, they increase confidence in inspection plans by providing information on the type of damage that's expected. More information on risk-based inspection and damage mechanism reviews is provided on our website at www.aocorp.com. Thank you for watching.